In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you a very simple way to split your screen so that you have one video playing on the left side and the other on the right side. We'll show you a brief example and then we'll show you the technique. First thing we're going to do is take our one video and drag and drop it onto track number one. With it highlighted, we're going to click on the Tools button above the timeline, and from the drop-down, choose Crop, Zoom, and Pan. It opens up my Crop, Zoom, and Pan controls. I have my preview in the upper right, and I have my controls below it. First thing we want to do is change our aspect ratio that we're working in. My default is 16 by 9 because of my video. I'm going to click on the down arrow and choose Freeform. Now, one important thing that happens when I choose Freeform is that my Maintain Aspect Ratio box is unchecked. That's going to be important. Another thing I'd like to do is turn on my grid lines. I'm going to click on the box below the preview. I have a grid lines option. I'm going to turn on my 2x2. Two two. You can't see it on my screen, but you will see it on yours. So now I have a split top, bottom, left, right to the center. That's what I want. Now I'm going to scale this. I don't want to change the height, only the width of what we'll see. So I'm going to move my slider back somewhere around 0.5. And here I got pretty close. What I like to do is use the up and down arrows to be precise, or you can drag over the numbers. And then I need to pick the part of the video I want to focus on that will be on half of the screen. I want to verify, first of all, that I've got half of the screen. That's what the grid lines help me verify. That's true there. Okay, let's focus on the bridge, but a little bit on the left side. I think that would be good right about there. And with that done, I click on the OK button in the lower right corner of my crop, zoom, and pan window. Now let's take our second video. Well, let's take the first one first and drag it to the left. We have our snap two pink lines, and that should be about half of the screen. Let's take the second one and drag it down. And again, we'll click on the Tools button above the timeline, and again, choose Crop, Zoom, and Pan. Once again, we're going to change our aspect ratio control to freeform. Again, we want it to be about half, so I'm going to drag back. And I got very close this time again, too. And make sure it's exactly half. Yeah, it snaps to there. Now we're going to choose the area. I think I want to focus on the waterfall. And that looks pretty good right about there. And then I'm going to click on the OK button. Next thing I want to do is take my second image and drag it to the right. Let it snap to the edge. And it looks like I'm pretty good. Yes, I think both of them fill half the screen. And so if we want to play this, we'll see that both videos are playing at the same time, each occupying half of the screen. Now sometimes when people do this, they have a line between the two of them. Let me show you a very easy way to create that in PowerDirector. What I'm going to do is use a color board. So I'm going to drag down. I'm going to click on the blue area that will expand my Explorer view. And instead of media content, I'm going to click on the color boards option. This is a lot of green here, so I'll pick a dark green and drag down and drop it on track three. Obviously, we want a longer duration. And now I'm going to double click on that to edit it. We'll move our time indicator back here. And now we're going to edit our color board. Obviously, we don't want to fill the screen. So on my object settings under scale, I'm going to turn off maintain aspect ratio. And now I'm going to hold the arrow over the marker in the middle, drag to the right. And it gets narrower and narrower until it's a very small band. If I want to modify it more precisely, I can either type over the numbers or I can click the up down arrow on the width and make it as small as I would like. 
and that looks good enough so I'm going to click on OK and now we'll move our cursor to the beginning and we'll play our video and when we do we have a nice border between two fully functional videos that we're seeing part of in a side-by-side -side split screen in CyberLink PowerDirector.